welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to film a review and not first impressions because I've already used these products. I'm using it kind of like a different way to see how they will last throughout the day. So the products that I'll be testing out today are by Burt's Bees. So to start with, I'm just going to give you a little bit more information on the products. So here is the liquid foundation. This one is in the shade Soft Honey 1035. This is my color. When I apply it, it looks a lot lighter, but I feel like it will get a little bit darker. Just a little bit. It matches my neck perfectly. There are 18 shades available. It is a buildable coverage foundation. It doesn't really look cakey, but it neutralizes my entire skin, covering any imperfections. I can see some of my freckles still peeking through. I don't mind that. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. This actually has metal foam seed oil. It's known for moisturizing your skin. At the same time, balancing your skin and making it look natural and glowy. They also nourish your skin throughout the day. I feel like at the end, once I've set my setting spray and everything is in place, it doesn't look cakey. It brings a nice pump. Just make sure not to press too hard on it because then you'll have a lot of product. Just press on it softly to get a smaller amount of foundation. This retails for $20.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart, but you can also find this at Walmart. It's $18.97. Next, I'm going to talk about the bronzer stick and the highlighter stick. The bronzer one is in the shade Bronze Flash. You can see the coconut oil core that all of them bring. Coconut oil is very good for your skin. It will also keep your skin hydrated throughout the day. They blend so nicely with each other, but like I said, you have to use it in like a tapping way. You don't want to swirl it on your face. Otherwise, you're going to grab onto the foundation and you're just going to rub off the makeup and also build up to it. Because if you apply straight like a big amount, one, it, it could be harder to blend and two, it will fade out a lot easier easier than just building up to it. The other one is the highlighter and it's in the shade Opal Mist. The colors are very beautiful. They're very natural. As you can see, it also has the coconut oil core. There is actually one more shade to the highlighter and bronzer sticks, like an in-between shade. Then you have the lip and cheek sticks. I have here the Dahlia Dew. This one is a beautiful red color. Again, it has the coconut oil core. The next one I have is a uh, Sweat Sand. It's more like a pinky color. They smell good. They don't have a strong scent. It's a pleasing scent. I think it might be the coconut oil, but I don't smell coconut. Like it just smells a little bit sweet. The foundation, I don't think it smells like anything or like probably the meadow foam seed oil. It's just my nose can't really catch the smells right now. <laughs> so these guys, you can find them again at Shoppers Drug Mart. They are $20.99. I know it's the same price as the foundation. I don't know why. <laughs> Walmart actually sells it for $19.97. The last item that I have is the Nourishing Mascara, which is 100% natural. This claims to lengthen and define your lashes. I do feel like it does make them a little bit long. I feel like if my mascara is completely brown, new any mascara my lashes will come down right after I curl them with my spoon they are like nice and curly but now they're like oof. This little guy is made with jojoba oil, which actually nourishes your lashes. It has beeswax for great texture and adherence. This comes in two shades, classic black, which is the one that I have, and the other one is black brown. It retails cheaper at Walmart for $13.97 and at Shoppers Drug Mart for $14.99. All right, guys, so those were all the products that I received by Birth Bees. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I applied it to make it look like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and see how well they wear out throughout the day. Okay, so just keep watching for the makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna start with the Goodness Glows Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Soft Honey. And I'm gonna pump some on the back of my hand. For this, I'm gonna be using my Derma Blend Foundation Kabuki Brush. And I'm just gonna be pressing this into the skin. It looks a little bit lighter than my own skin, but it will even out. Mm. It's balancing your skin tone. So any imperfections, discoloration that I have will be evened out. You don't wanna drag this product around because if you drag it, you're not really placing it on your face. You're just moving it away. My skin color is evened out. I didn't put it on my under eye. 
I'm going to conceal my under eye using the Kiss New York Pro Touch Dark Under Eye Concealer in the shade Warm Nude. I don't have the Bird's Bee Concealer. Just want to make sure that we cover these dark circles. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I have a blemish right there. I'll make sure it's covered up, um, the blemish up here as well. And for this, I'm going to be using my Morphe M335 brush. I know I'm not one to use brushes anymore for the face. I feel like they work better with clean products, so blending it into the foundation. We're going for a more natural, glowy look. Next, I'm going to be using this NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Olive. And I'm going to be using this throughout the entire video just because I want to keep the foundation in place. It's not sticky. It feels super comfortable. So I'm just going to kind of like slightly pat it through just so that it stays put. Also, this finishing powder isn't like super matte, so it'll still keep the dewiness. Next, I'm going to go in with the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder to set my under eye. With a Morphe E27, I'm going to set my under eye. I'm not going to bake it. Okay, so now I'm going to add some color to my face. So I'm going to be using the Bronzer Stick. This is in the shade Bronze Splash. I'm going to rub some on the back of my hand. I'm going to be using the Royal and Lang Nickel Complexion Brush. Again, it's a tapping motion. And I'm going to do the same thing here. You want to start building up this color. Now, it is a very natural look, so it's very subtle. But you can still see the glow through it. A little bit on my forehead. I'm also going to add some around my nose. I'm also going to apply this on my eyes, but I'm going to apply it straight to the eyes since I don't have any powder there. And again, the same brush, just tapping. And again, I'm just going to tap a little bit on the bronzer. So it's not even that much of a layer, it's just pressing a little bit on it. The next one is the Lip and Cheek Stick in the shade Dahlia Dew. So it's like this reddish Color. This is going to be our blush. Again, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. It doesn't matter if it mixes with your bronzer. Everything is just mixing up on our cheeks. I'm going to be using the same brush because we're blending it. Just start with a little bit. It makes it so natural and so pretty. A little bit on the nose. Once again with the brush. The next stick I'm going to be using is the highlighter stick, and this is in the shade Opal Mist. I already cleaned up my hand, but I'm going to put some more same brush and apply this on the cheekbones. Ooh, it's just so nice and dewy. I'm going to be applying some on my brow bone, connecting it right here. And I'm also going to apply some on my chin, a little bit on the forehead. And I'm going to twist my brush to like the pointiest part and I'm going to apply some on my nose. Going back with my brush and the finishing powder. Next I'm going to be overlining my lips using the LA Girl Lip Liner in Natural Creme. Just very simple. And to fill my lips, I'm going to be using the Lip and Cheek Stick. This is in the shade Sway Sands. I love this color because it's like a little bit lighter than my lip color, but it's still pretty nice. So it's good for your lips. It has coconut oil, so it'll keep it moisturized. Okay, so next I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I wanted to set my face before I apply the mascara because once you apply the mascara and then you wet your face, I feel like it brings my lashes down, so I leave that last. Okay, so I just curled my lashes. So I'm going to be using the Nourishing Mascara in the shade Classic black. I'm also going to apply on my bottom lashes. This is the finished natural look. I like it. I feel so comfortable. My face doesn't feel sticky. I know if I were to touch it, it might feel a little bit sticky. My hair is sticking to it. It's not like your face can't move, you know? I don't feel like I have anything on my face. I have tried these cream products with a beauty blender, but I do prefer it with brushes. It is currently 1 o'clock, so I'll be back at the end of the day, probably 8, probably 9, to see how this makeup wears out. Okay, so it is 8.51. It's almost 9. The lip faded out already. So I ate and I didn't want to retouch it. The rest of my face looks still dewy. It didn't fade out. 
everything's still pretty covered. I feel like this part of my nose did kind of fade out a little bit because I was touching my nose. I'm still kind of sick. But yeah, everything else is still there. It's not bad. The lashes are still the same. We're probably a little bit lower. My eyelids are creasing. You want to make sure that throughout the day you are tapping on the crease so that it's not noticeable. I don't see any like smudges. I'm going to touch my face if I'm going to put my hand. You can actually see the fingers. I can feel the oiliness, but if you were to fix it, just tap on it. A simple tapping fixes the situation. I'm not really much of a fan for cream products. I like that it looks like my natural skin. I'm in between like I like it but then I don't like it because of the fact that you have to be really careful. The only thing that I don't like is that see my hair kind of grabbed the oiliness of the products so it, it looks oily. I wouldn't recommend these products for somebody who's like super oily because <laughs> they have a lot of oil in it but if you like to look dewy and really natural then yes I would recommend these products. Yep, that is all I have to say about the products. Alright guys, so this completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to thumbs this video up. Please don't forget to leave in the comments down below your thoughts on cream products and what did you think about these Bird's Bees products. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys till my next video. Bye!